What's up, noobs? Welcome to the FL Noob Zone. Once again, so we're into FL 10 now. Exciting, exciting. So uh, this is a basic auto recording tutorial, basically. Um, I said basically already, so I'm just going to teach you how to record some audio. So I'm going to record a guitar and a vocal track. Really quick for you, I've already enabled my microphone so you can hear me. And, uh, but for all of you who don't know how to do that, I will just, um, I'm going to record the guitar first and then the same thing applies for the microphone. So first of all, let's start with guitar. So I'm going to select insert four here. You can select any insert you want and then press F2 and rename that track to guitar in. Okay. Now we select the track that the guitar is going into. For me, it's analog two. If you're using, uh, say a two channel interface, it'll be, could be one, two, could be left, right. Um, if you're using your stock laptop, something like that, it'll just say uh, microphone or audio, coaxial audio one, two kind of thing. And that's all you got. Uh, in a later video, probably put the link at the bottom. I'm just going to do a recording with just um, like a stock laptop with no audio gear or anything like that. So for you people who want to record, but you don't have the gear. Um, anyways, analog two is my guitar. As you can hear, beautiful, so beautiful. All right, so first thing we want to do when we select our input is send the guitar to another insert. And the reason we do that, uh, right click route to this track only. That's on the little arrow at the bottom of the track. And let's put, say that, press F2 and let's call it guitar out. Okay, so you'll notice that these recording disk icons popped up as soon as I selected the input. If for some reason it's shut off, all you have to do is left click now. In FL10, all you have to do is left click on that disk and it will arm the track for recording, okay? So let's go to 105, click track on, control M, and then let's do a little count in here. Switch to song mode, pressing L or clicking here. And, um, <clears throat> Make sure your guitar isn't clipping on the input. And uh, mine is set. I have a overdrive pedal there, so it's it's uh, it kind of limits the volume with that pedal. But a uh, good a good uh, a good level to record your peaks. I'd say minus twelve. You know, because you have in sixteen bit audio, you have ninety six decibels to work with, and. Uh, 84 decibels is more than anyone can hear. So recording at a lower volume, you don't have to record right at zero because uh, nobody will ever notice the difference. You can normalize after if you want, but I just do all my mixing low and then master high. So here we go. I'm just going to record here. All you have to do is select the playlist. So it's in view and then press R and uh, our metronome will start. So I'll show you exactly what's going on here. So when you're done recording, press spacebar, and uh, should be um, should be pretty lined up there. Let's just double check our. Let's go back to the mixer. I'm just going to check that our disc recording latency compensation is on. Okay, so I was just playing a little off then. If, uh, if you notice, you come in here and you'll see it's just a little forward, but whatever. Anyway, so um, uh, what you'll notice is when we play it back. It's coming right out of the guitar. Album. Sounds pretty good. All right, so let's layer another guitar track over that, just for fun. So uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to click on Guitar In. Let's rename this Guitar Out to Guitar Out 1. And then we'll route our Guitar In to another insert. Oops, and then rename that guitar out to... Ooh, pretty brilliant. So I'll pan that one a little right. And uh, I'm just going to do a little uh, octave up. 
type stuff on this with my new telly. I love this guitar. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to turn the click track off and play along with myself. Play with myself. <laughs> Hey, maybe I should have tuned before this, but hey, what the heck? Oh, all right, my guitar's stuck. Alrighty. So there you have two guitar tracks, on, and they automatically get sent to the mixer track you want, which is, saves you a lot of time when you're sketching out stuff in FL Studio. Now let's just take a quick listen. <laughs> Alright, so the second one sounded a lot better than the first one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the second part, the second half of that, and then use that. Press, uh, when you're in the mixer here, make sure your keyboard, typing piano keyboard is off. Okay. Um, press C, and then slice. Hold shift, and then drag down, and it will slice on the beat marker. And uh, so we'll slice uh, four bars out of there. And then press B to switch back to brush. Right click to delete and then shuffle it over or just move it over with left. And then now I'm going to copy these over, hold shift and then click drag. We have our guitar. All right. So, um, guitar is wonderful. Let's just do a quick vocal thing. Um, and, uh, so this is our vocals in. Okay. And then we're going to go route to this track only vocals out. All right. And um, notice uh, I turned the recording off so it didn't record what we're not using. So left click the disc and left click the guitar in disc because we're not using that anymore, okay? So um, let's do, we're gonna let it run through the chords once. I'll do, da, 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 da. so um, yeah, anyways, we'll just, never mind that. We'll just record it. Here we go. Are you ready? I hope so. Well, I can't believe that love is really hard to find. Maybe risking it all just to say what's really on my mind. That's uh, verse one of my pop song, Can I? Um, so here we go. Uh, and you'll notice I just cut the uh, front and back off just to get rid of that extra stuff. And yeah, so just uh, press C and then hold shift while you cut. And then you don't have to do, because if you press C and then press, if you click, nothing happens, right? You get this weird thing. So you can uh, you can go down like this, but holding shift just makes it easier and quicker. So there's basic recording and a little bit of audio audio handling. I'm going to go deeper into audio handling in one of my next tutorials. So I uh, hope you liked it. And uh, you know what? For my for our, We'll continue with this song and just make something out of it uh, in the next video. See ya.